Downtown Fresno in the early 1900s doesn't look much like it does today. Buildings that once proudly graced the center of town no longer exist. Ready to see a phoenix rising from the ashes? And some that do hardly look the same. Oh my God. those that have endured. They're fine on the outside, but the inside, quite frankly, needs some work. Okay. KC24 was granted access to three of Fresno's oldest and most iconic structures, all neoclassic in design and on the local historic register, like the Hotel Fresno. Opened in 1913, it was one of the city's grandest, elegant enough to lodge Hollywood stars and dignitaries like Richard Nixon, now just a shell of what it once was. No, we took everything out. We hired Croker and they demoed everything. They cleaned all the asbestos and the lead. The hotel has been empty since the mid 80s. Jake Kojikian is one of three owners. They've cleared it out and have some ambitious plans. At this time, the plan is to do 92 residential units. Basically, half of the ground floor and the rest of the six floors are gonna be apartments. Trust me, we can make this beautiful again. There's not much left from the original hotel. Vandals have stripped it clean, but the bones, like the original fireplace and moldings, remain. So it's not overwhelming to you when you see a building in this state? No, this is an open canvas. We can really work. Kujikian and his partners aren't afraid of a challenge. They restored downtown's Virginia Hotel five years ago and hope to do the same for the Hotel Fresno once financing is secured. A couple blocks away, another downtown icon, a place I remember going as a little girl. The J.C. Penney's department store, originally the Raiden Camp store, built in 1924. Penney's moved out in 1986. The five-floor building has been empty for years, but it's now ready for rebirth. We're on the fourth floor of the old J.C. Penney's building in downtown Fresno. The current owner has a lot of thoughts about what to do with this building, maybe turn it into living spaces, and check out the view of Chuck Chancy Park, best seat in the house. Through another window and across the street, what was once a top banking spot, the former Bank of Italy, later the Bank of America. Built in 1917, it's been vacant since the early 70s. Scott Anderson with the Penstar Group, the current owner, gave us a tour. What we're witnessing today is honestly a tragedy of the, the building uh, ch changing hands and ownership over decades of, of, of time. There's decay, peeling paint, water damage to the ceiling and walls, but also incredible beauty. These floors are, I know it's a little bit dusty. It's completely all, dusty, but, but this imagine. Is, this is marble? It's all marble. It's just. And it looks like it's in perfect condition. It's phenomenal. Well, once you polish it up, well, that's, that's what our hope is. There's thick, beautiful marble everywhere. Wow. Look at this. An incredible staircase leading to the vault. This used to be all glass and it just showed you the inner workings of the door. Right. People have broken out the glass, they've tried to steal the, you know, the, the nuts and the brass fittings that uh, exist on the door, and it's just, you know, it's honestly, it's a shame. Anderson says there are two interested tenants. Restoration could cost up to $20 million, but worth every penny for a building that in 1919 drew crowds as it was scaled by the human fly. It's really, truly a renaissance, uh, a renaissance project in downtown Fresno, and we hope it spurs further growth. A hope echoed by Karana Hattersley Drayton, Fresno's historic preservation manager. We need to figure out a way to organize people in a positive way to care more about their resources. And when buildings are closed off, fenced, boarded, people forget what's inside. They forget about the former beauty within these walls, the significance of three iconic structures that now sit empty in downtown Fresno.